Hi, so let's talk about TriHackMe and what's going on with that. Um, I'm going to give you my perspective on where I think TriHackMe is heading in the future now and the past. And I want to start straight off by saying in the past, you know, they kind of narrowed in on a gap that Hack the Box couldn't do. Hack the Box was still a bit advanced, too advanced, I would say, for newcomers. And it kind of scared them away, so TriHackMe came and took all the newcomers. Now the problem that arises, do TriHackMe actually evolve? Have they evolved in a way to more than that? You know, I would say no. I don't really think it have. You know, what you can see here is just a practical, you know, search on their learn and then search. And then you see all these kind of different room we have. Uh, you got stuff like uh, CTF challenges and you can pick the difficulty. Let's talk about difficulty first of all. Now, when I say I don't really think that they follow up, followed up on um, getting in the market and to the point where they are now is that it has nothing to do with the actual dif difficulty of the room because you can choose whatever difficulty you can find any weird combination of exploits you need to do in a certain way and then call it insane. That's not really um that doesn't have anything to do with learning now i'm gonna attack this from a learning perspective as a teacher as an assisting professor in denmark where i teach i've been teaching for many many years since 2009 i feel that trihackme is a wonderful website for newcomers but when you been in this trihackme uh bubble for some time you begin to feel that the individual rooms doesn't have the same kind of quality control that you might find on other sites. So go ahead, check out Hack the Box. They do also create, have created a newcomer's path for you to start on. I don't know what they call it, starting path, whatever. Um, and they do not really uh, emphasize the whole idea of explaining too much to you. Picking any room here, let's just say intro to offensive security, um, you will get some introductional text you can read and stuff like that but what you're probably going to learn here is you're going to take this room we call introduction to offensive security now you will boot a machine up you can hack it and stuff like that but doesn't really doesn't really give that you know what about offensive security you know the first tap task one in short offensive security the process of breaking into computer system exploiting a software box and finding loopholes and applications to gain unauthorized access to them wow <laughs> one line okay so that's not it right so i would say on the touch of that did a really good job on on doing individual small rooms you can go ahead and do and i love them for that that's really good doing that that's what they can do what i really miss is the uh it's the quality control and the amount of information so if you read the title here intro to offensive security i read that i'm going to get an introduction to in offensive security what i really do get is a small text saying that is something about hacking and then, oh, we're going to hack a machine, open a terminal, find some websites, run these commands that are given to you right here. And then, boom, you're done. You're going to find some something, um, word, and click done. And by the way, we can also read more. Um, I wouldn't call that an introduction to offensive security. This is what I mean with the quality control. You can go ahead to the uh, Burp Suite, you know, the uh, Portswick Academy. They do really have this quality let's let's just go ahead and say um port swigger academy so if you go to uh academy there we go i think you need to log in to see that actually i don't think i'm locked in then if you do something like sql injection okay so you will get all this so you you will get like um really good explanations well, not the used information, information at all, but you will see what's going on. You see some SQL commands. There are some labs talking about what it is. You can watch the video about what it is. What is the impact, the detectability? You see different kind of, you know, all these kind of things explains really well what is SQL injection. This is not a the same setup as TriHackMe is doing. They're doing more like a server-wise wise setup where you can hack, compromise the individual server, which I love them for doing. Now, no hard feelings towards TriHackMe, nothing, not trying to burn them or anything. I'm just saying that I feel 
that you can go ahead and pick any room. Um, I'm just some. Let's do some info, for example. So you're gonna use what is networking. So you're gonna go ahead and buy a, a subscription for Try Hack Me and go ahead and learn what is networking. Beginning, uh, begin learning the fundamentals of computer networking in the bite-sized and interactive modules. It's a video you can follow. That's nice. So we're gonna check it out. There are five tasks, right? So we're gonna talk about what is networking. Just some introduction. Very narrow down. Not really talking about networking. More like a, I would say. I don't know what to call this, but the images. <laughs> also, what is the internet? Well, very, very little information. Still some semi okay images for an introduction to, let's just recap maybe, but okay. So I'm still trying to learn something. So I'm gonna talk about that. You know, we learn about offset and IP addresses and it's kind of, very little text. There are some images. I understand the tables and this, all this, that, but you know, networking, right? I'm going to talk about the ping command. What, what, what has, okay, so what is networking? Let's talk about ping. I don't really get that. You're talking about the ICMP protocols. You need to understand what is networking. So we're going to look up here, begin on the fundamentals of computer networking in a bite sized interaction module. So the fundamentals of computer networking. Now that has something to do with um, networking. So we're gonna talk about UDP and TCP protocol. Do they do that? They don't. So what I'm saying is really quality control. Deliver what you promise. Deliver something about computer networking. Um, I don't really see to do that. So what is networking? Hmm, maybe it's a good title, but then skip this below. Then you can do something like that. But the whole idea of having the ping IC ICMP protocol there is, is just weird. I don't really get it. So we can continue diving into these different, different kind of rooms. What I really like, and this is what I'm gonna say now, is you can go ahead and choose any room and you can now boot up, let's say I wanna do a capture the flag. It's really easy for me to pick one. So I can just say root me and then I can go ahead and start the machine. And then there are some questions for me to be guided through what they kind of want me to find. So I can kind of follow that, which is okay. I don't think really hack the box is doing these kind of things and other websites, but this is just one way of doing it. I really like that. So in terms of that and you know, up the quality, uh, deliver what you promise. The future of try hack me. As I see, they need to improve on this quality. They need to improve on that a lot. They do have these learning paths, which is really good, but it's just a um, concatenation of the already existing rules you can find on the search bar here. Then they just gather them into what you call learning paths. And then from that, you can get a particular stamp in some way and say that you took like the red teaming or whatever thing. You can see I've, I've been I've been here, you know, doing stuff, not really, um, try to complete any learning path. I just, you know, <laughs> I actually got the introduction to cybersecurity. I think I, I just eventually thought, why not just do a few and get a check mark and see what happens. Not, nothing really happened, but you get a certificate. You can go ahead and show of completion, but there's no test, which is what I think is something they might need to do. They are up around, what is it? What is it like 2 million users, which is really, Phenomenal job there, guys. Okay, so I really think you did a really good job by reaching out. But you need to find a way to do certifications or something like that because many people in different kind of countries they weigh certifications more than I would like to say we do in Denmark. So um, yeah, so the future, you know, do certifications, check up the quality control. I like the interactive, easy colors, nice to look at, you know, that's really good. So without being too biased towards any particular way, I just think Try Hack Me is still a baby. You need to be nourished and, and need to listen to their, you know, uh, the hackers, you know, the community, listen to the YouTubers, the content creators, you know, what, what are we actually talking about? You would also go ahead and ask you know, the more popular content, uh, content creators. I'm going to mention anyone by name because I really think that ha have anything to say, but just saying that, you know, the future of Tai Hack Me is, is still not within the grasp of what I think it is, but 
they did something with Urn a box, so they they tried to. Um, it's it's this is the way it's a thing, right? You 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 refer someone, and then you gotta get five dollar credit, and the friend you refer will also get the same kind of amount. I actually got I think five dollars already. I have two pending, so eventually, if I get enough, I can go ahead and uh, buy myself a um, premium membership again. And they also have this skill matrix, and you have some levels. I'm already at max. Um, and level 13 I think it is and I, I think it's okay but you know you can do some improvement on the dashboard as well I guess in a way but do certifications you know that would be really a really good idea for um, people go ahead and check the other fan you're gonna find something like newsroom I think this is kind of hidden in a way I don't really see it you know if they wrote a block uh, instead of having it right there it would probably be uh more visited buy vouchers to, to give away I've, I've actually thought about doing that a few times on my channel to buy some vouchers and then give it away but i haven't really seen um haven't really earned enough money so i would uh not get that i couldn't really do it so maybe in the future um they also did this uh, business training. I think it's a really good idea to do that, but um, still, I'm gonna go back to the general idea, uh, up the quality, get some certifications. And one more thing, try hack me, you know, please try to reply your email, you know, reply back, because I wrote a few of you who already haven't replied any of them. You actually <laughs> kind of offered me a $60 voucher to do some live interview after I I remove my subscription. I've been a subscriber for a long time. And I kind of declined that by saying, no, I don't really do that because I don't really see the point. Um, so it's not really the voucher that, was, that, was, that I was after. It was just after actually getting some quality time, but, uh, but, but doing actual video feeds with someone, you know, I don't know about something that I feel could be improved in many ways. I felt was unnecessary and it was a quick move. I didn't really like it, so that's why I didn't accept it. Okay, so I think to wrap up this video, I'm gonna recap. I said it already a few times, you know. Go ahead and up the quality to deliver what you promise in descriptions of your rooms, your titles, get some certifications, and just general reply back to your emails. That'll be really beautiful. Alright, so hope you learned something in this video and you got an idea about where they are. I want to say thumbs up, you know, still a user of TryHackMe, it's just, just a free user. Um, get a subscription, you can learn a lot, you know about hacking tools, but you would need to go to actual professional websites, uh, for example, Cisco, to learn about networking, because it's not going to teach you that here on TryHackMe, it's more uh about the actual doing of it not really learning the profession not really learning the the hardcore knowledge it's going to be something you do in your university not on this website see you online have a really nice day